Hello and welcome back. I've got, I'm very troubled. I'm very troubled. Um, and Saturday morning was a really rough morning um, be, because of the things that happened last week and what had happened overnight. Um, so today is the 12th. Yesterday was the 11th. So Saturday morning was, what, the 8th? No, the ninth, and everything that you know went down on the sixth. Uh, no, I wasn't there. <laughs> I'm not. I don't go to the go to those kind of things. Um, and I had this bad, bad feeling that I knew something was going to happen, and then something did, because um, there was just too many people at one place at one time. And even my local radio station were saying, oh, there's hundreds of people. There are going to be hundreds of people there. And I'm like, hundreds? And then I finally found a channel to be able to hear and see what was going on. And you could hear the crowd. It was huge. And finally, my local radio station, oh, well, there's thousands of people. There was hundreds of thousands of people there and uh the president tried to get the, the 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 people that were videotaping him to say turn around I, I challenge you turn around show everybody show the country how many people are here they wouldn't do it stuck on him they're not going to turn around they're not going to show the support he has and how many people love him and voted for him um they're just that foul and and and, uh, and corrupt. They're <laughs> they're not going to do that. Um, and from what I hear, it went beyond the Washington Monument. I mean, there was nobody knows how many people were there. It was huge, apparently. Um, and I've been helped spreading this one video around on Facebook on here of someone that was there whose comment I found in. One group, the Blue Collar Logic guys video that I like following, and their ex liberals uh, or ex Democrats that live in California that flipped for a little more than four years ago, uh, maybe eight years ago, maybe been during Obama, um, but because I, I've heard it's Jason and Dave, yeah, and uh, that's right, and great channel. I, I followed them for almost a year now. They've been around for a while, but I, I came out to them, found them kind of late. And that's another thing you're going to find is that if you only watch mainstream media, if you only keep up with the five big cable people, you're going to hear the same things, the same verbiage, the same message. doesn't matter which one you're looking at. It, whether it's CNN, HLN, which used to be called CNN 2, by the way, MSNBC, ABC, whatever, they all say, they're all saying the same thing. They're all saying the same keywords that they all get the same memo and they all have the hive mind that they're only wanting to give certain information to their viewers and that's it. Um, and because of the most recent events, oh, we can't have that. And once, you know, it's... It, I don't think Trump mentioned them by name, but, um, and a lot of people I didn't used to like and didn't used to want to follow, I've started following and listening to them and actually end up kind of liking them. Steven Crowder is one of them. I did not used to be a Steven Crowder fan because of his, because of his mouth and because of how extreme he can be and, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, now I like him, and now he's gone. He sort of disappeared after the beginning of December. Uh, his uh, Bill, his half Asian lawyer guy, did a video. Um, they were going to do their uh, this one thing in uh, live, and it never happened. It never came to fruition. We haven't heard of him since, and it was through his. Where I heard about, I'd heard about Parlor up popping up all, all last fall, and it was thanks to him. I thought, hmm, maybe I should find out what's going on over there. 
and uh, and that, that that's the an, another thing is that I got in a debate with somebody. Uh, almost came to a down to a yelling match because we can't agree on anything. Um, and I'm not going to say who it was. That oh well, they all look the same. They're all white. They're all bald. They're just all the blah blah blah. And I'm thinking in the and so I, I did I, I'm not quit wit quick witted enough to be able to know what I need to say to be able to to debate correctly, to, to debate very well. Uh, my mouth is not connected to my brain all the time. Um, <laughs> and it's been that way since I was a, a teenager. I've gotten in a lot of trouble uh, sometimes by saying the wrong things at the wrong times in front of the wrong people. Um, well, that's the story of my life. But and I've had to learn the hard way throughout the years not to do s stuff. Uh, so if you look at some of my older inspirational videos, some of it is about holding your tongue, uh, restricting yourself, not letting government do it, but letting us do it. We need to know when you, you behave in certain ways. Um, so, you know, when you watch the big five, they have their narrative and it really is. But if you listen to Sean Hannity, uh, Rush Limbaugh, Stephen Crowder, Blue Collar Logic, the Conservative Twins, BCP, the uh, Black Conservative Patriot, or even, uh, oh, this one new guy, African-American uh, black dude I was listening to the other day. He was making a lot of sense. They're all saying the same, different things. They're saying all different angles. They're, they're telling the things from their perspectives. They're not in a narrative. They're using critical thinking. Uh, you can believe them or not. You can hate them. Um, hate is a very strong word. Uh, and even Ben Shapiro. I've, I've, I've been really fond of Ben Shapiro, maybe because he just talks so fast and he could have a 40-minute, hour-long show and it could be two hours uh, with the much information that he has, the logic is he's that he's using, which is very logical. Um, I mean... Boom, he tells it like it is. Um, and with his background, he's very fun to listen to, very conservative. And while I'm not Jewish, I agree with a lot of what that guy says. Um, and even if you're not conservative, you might want to, you know, even if you think your ears are going to be, be, be burned from listening to him, Sometimes you need to cut, get down off our soapboxes and go, well, let me see and hear what this guy has to say. And if you listen to them, not just for three minutes, not just for 30 minutes, but for their, for their full program, and then listen to them and challenge yourself to listen to them for a week. They're not going to program you with certain kind of keywords and certain kind of only selected information they're going to tell you this full story. They're going to tell you how it is. They're going to tell uh, tell you from their perspective what they think might be some of the insidious makings of what's really going on and looking at things from all sides of the picture, not just one selective view to get us all thinking on the on one main path and go, oh, you're not thinking how we're thinking. We're the thought police. We're going to delete you. And with this whole cancel, cancel culture, that is what is, and once they found out that the, you know, Twitter, Trump has a count, Facebook, bump, you're gone. And then uh, those two other people, Sidney Powell and somebody, you're gone. If they can do that to them, they can do that to us. I've done a few political videos here, not many. Um, I did one about the Confederate flag and my, and my take on that, and I took it down. I took it down. I don't know how many people watched it. I don't remember. That was about four or five years ago. It's been a lot. It was Obama was president. So it was before Trump became president. And there was an, because he was the one that made, made it illegal to buy a Confederate flag. You can't buy them anywhere anymore. Um, after some incident, and then I remember finding and researching online uh, this African American guy in South America, South Carolina, who was a college student who did his history, 
And he was getting in trouble because he did have the Confederate flag in his dorm room. And he did have it outside. Oh, you can't have it here. You can't have it there. And he's like, well, where can I have it? Because I believe in what I've read because they're not teaching us the whole history. And he's African-American. And he understands the reasoning behind the symbolic blah, 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 blah. Well, that was a video for back then. Golly, about nearly six years ago now. Um, six or five years ago. And, you know, I started this channel in 2013. Look at all the birds. Um, and I've taken that video down. And sometimes even... I might leave a video up uh, on occasion that I, even looks like it has zero views because I never know if it actually has been viewed or not. Um, so there's that. And then, you know, they're, you know, they, they didn't just take parlor down. They didn't just take parlor off of the stores. You know, it got booted from Google and Facebook and Amazon and then Amazon took down their servers, all because of the president, all because of, you know, they're trying to say that he incited what happened on the 6th. I was listening to it on YouTube. I didn't hear him inciting anybody. I heard him say, we're going to, you know, you can peacefully and march over to the, to the building. You know, he was going to go with them or whatever. And then there's a lot of timing issues. I've heard and read a lot of things that some things just don't make sense. Um, and if we didn't have these alternative and people that were there on the ground, recording things, hearing things, witnessing things, things aren't quite adding up. Um, I mean, I had, there's that one picture of the guy holding Pelosi's podium that, and according to what I was looking at, he didn't steal it. He picked it up and had a selfie taken with it. And we had stuff go, I was talking, we were talking about it in the comments, and oh, oh that's a bad analogy. That doesn't make sense to me. And I'm thinking, well, it does to me. But then I got in a conver real conversation with a real person saying, oh, well, they stole it. And he's arrested. Okay. And you know, I didn't think that he had been arrested. I mean, I didn't think he stole it according to what I was looking at, but I didn't debate her. It's like, okay, he stole it. That's news to me. I didn't know that. Um, and I knew, I knew some things had been stolen. Um, and somebody lounging back in, in their desk at, on Pelosi's desk and all this and taking a picture of him and all these other things. It shouldn't have happened. I mean, I'm kind of wondering how violent this protest really was because the building's still there. It didn't get burned down. Uh, there was an accidental death. There were about four or five deaths in total, which shouldn't have happened. Windows were being broken. That shouldn't have happened. Um, people are questioning about the security of the building, especially when that many people were in one spot. Uh, and if you were anywhere online, you kind of knew the rally, this somewhat organic planned rally was going to happen. Uh, and it was, you know, because many people feel that, you know, if the buck doesn't stop here, why should we vote at all? If they're just going to keep getting this a certain people to be the same people sitting and doing and uh, everything up on high and ruling a, us over like a kingship, um, and boy, they in that in I mean they hated Trump since he came down his escalator. Um, and they've been attacking him from day one. Uh, you know, if you had had a, a son or a daughter and they go to school and they are picked on every single day at school for four years, what are you going to do? <laughs> and then, you oh, sorry, I'm, I hit my desk. And then if they're not allowed to go back to that school just because they're simply hated, 
um, because of their look or something shallow, almost for no reason at all, I mean, just because they're there at that school. Um, how, how fair is that? Because that's all the media has been doing against our president for four years. Love him or hate him. That's all the media has been doing. They haven't been focusing on anything good. Uh, if something happens that is good, they never mention him, that he was responsible for some, some of that. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of lies from our media through omission. Uh, hate to tell you, Mr. Spock, but that, that's how it goes. Um, and the media is celebrating this with this monopolistic big tech going on and wiping out Parler. I mean, the media is celebrating this, and that's scary, guys. I don't care if you voted Republican or Democrat. If you even have a sense of individual thought in wanting to go to uh, some alternative news media, it might be gone. I, the people I'm listening to and watching here, they're like, oh gosh, well, if we're going to be gone, if we're going to be, uh, uh, you know, canceled for wrong think or because we're not mainstream, you better go to blah, blah, blah dot com because what, what we, where you may end up having to find us if we are deleted. And if they can do it to them, they can do it to us. And when in the, the platforms may have every right to do that, they may, I mean, just like if someone enters your business and you have a restaurant and you put up a sign that says, no shoot, no sir, no, no shoot, <laughs> no shoes, no shirt, no service. They are giving the right to who they can serve. Um, and once upon a time, long before I was ever born, you know, sometimes it would be race-based. Uh, race -based. You know, they would only serve white people here or maybe black people here. You had to go over here for if you are a certain color. Uh, you know, back of the bus kind of crap, you know, way back then. That's not the issue anymore. It really isn't. Um, you can yell at me all you want, but that's really not an issue anymore. Um, I mean, we have, things are so much better. And so many people are, you know, so blind to be ungrateful to the fact of how the freedoms that we have and how things have gotten better. There's more interracial marriages than I've ever seen before, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I didn't even mean to go that, that route. I'm sorry. I was trying to keep it to the tech, the media, uh, section 230, that, you know, when you're talking on an open source platform that you can even make a phone call before we even had internet. You know, it's not the phone's fault. It's not AT&T for making that phone for a villain to talk with a villain to do villainous activity somewhere. It's not, it, it wasn't their fault. Or Bell South or whoever it was back then. Um, so therefore, if things happen like that on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and that happens, not really on my side of the, the tracks, but on the other side of the tracks. That's how a lot of things went down last summer. But, oh, we can't go after those people. Oh, well, just just let them go. Just let them burn the place down. Just ju just let them steal those Nike shoes. Oh, ju ju just let them. Just let them vent. Just let them vent. Just, just let them kill. Uh, we had over 30 people killed last summer from the, uh, the groups over the, the death of somebody that was already on his deathbed when they pulled him out of the truck originally. And those police were as polite as they could be because I saw the full video. I did. I don't know if anybody, many, many, many people did, but when you do, he's already, he's, he has done, he did so much of the drugs that when they, when they already had him, they didn't have a hand on him and they were kept, kept doing this. And he's like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The man was already dying. Uh, I mean, 
in 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 the to kind of pin pin them pin a person down like that because he wasn't being I didn't mean to go here either, but he, he the man was already dying. That is the sad fact of that. And then at the very end, I didn't see that part. I didn't want to. I, I don't like death. I don't like seeing people hurt. <laughs> when I was six to ten years old, before I got really used to fake death on TV. I didn't like even the original Willy Wonka of the 70s because I thought the kids had died. I wasn't familiar with the book. Yeah, they were spoiled brats, but I didn't like seeing them get hurt. Nobody likes, nobody should like seeing anybody get hurt. Um, and to where that, you know, was Section 230, that they don't hold the platforms responsible for the actions of the people on their platforms but it's all up to the moderators and moderating what's really going on uh, and having their own restrictions which is important too um, but then if you know if we and I know I've been kind of here who knows this may end up getting looked at three or four times, and I may never know. Um, it's really weird. Um, so I may still put this up and for y'all to talk about it or debate or like or hate or whatever. Uh, then, you know, what's going to replace if all we have are the big five again? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, there is no debate with the other side. Uh, it, it, we've been doing this for decades. Uh, there is no reaching the aisle. Um, and it's, it's, it's a big issue. I've never seen our country this politically divided. How much the left has been wanting to, they say, we're going to be united. We are going to unite you. We just got rid of your platform and all their servers. We are uniting you. No, it's it's fascist. It's <laughs> it's it's scary. It's really scary. If you have wrong think, they're they're gonna cancel you. You could get fired. You could do get all sorts of stuff. It's very scary. I don't like it, and I don't care how you voted. You should be scared too. When Russell Brand puts out a video almost kind of scared about all the same stuff. I'm like, wow. And I'm not a big follower of, of him, uh, but I think he even understands what's going on because this is very scary. Um, I mean, it's a gift, all this wonderful technology for us to be able to converse and see and hear each other. When, when there is no when the debate of ideas is gone, we have one mindset. There is no opinion. There is nothing else. There is just the one single collective thought. When big tech colludes to make sure what they've provided for us that we can't use just because we don't think like them. That's a big issue. That's not my America. Things to think about. We'll see you next time, hopefully with Transformer Stratagems, getting back to the fun stuff. And for all I know, who knows, I may only be allowed to talk about Transformers here. If that, we'll see you next time, hopefully.